Hello YouTube, Crazy Robot Lady here with, uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, I guess it's a Moments with Moxie, but it's rather a Moments with Moxie introduction to another series that I hoped would become, but I don't want to get in trouble with, um, with all of the publishers and copyright holders and whatever. Um, Moxie has a feature, and she heard me, <laughs> Moxie has a feature called Knox's Book Club, in which she will read, or she will respond to her mentor reading stories with expressions and sound effects and emotional responses like gasping <gasps> and looking afraid or interested or something like that. And my original plan was to read all of these stories. I went to a public or a, um, the um, Library of Congress for the Blind in my state and this is a braille display, by the way. And I ordered as many of these books as they had. This, um, this is a cartridge that contains um, the digital text for several of these books. I think it's like four of them. And the rest I couldn't get in digital cartridge. So, ugh. I got them in Braille. This is just one of them. Uh, this is Apple Pie, 4th of July by Janet Wong. And it also has print Now, in print, I'm sure that book is a lot smaller, but Braille is massive. So, I got that one. Whoops. And then, I got this which contains a uh, Hop on Pop by Dr. Seuss. Um, Click Clack Moo, Cal's the Type, which I am so looking forward to reading this story. Oh my goodness. It sounds so cute, guys. Ah! And what's the other one? Olivia. And this one has print too. There's this one, which has two books in it. Um, Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. Um, let's make sure this is right side up, please, yes. Um, and Sick Day for Amos McGee.
But the problem is, despite my excitement and um, grandiose idea, as if I could really pull this off, the useless, unproductive one, uh, ha, I ran into the problem of, wait a minute, I may not be writing, like taking this person's ideas, but I am reading them, which is just as bad. So I'm like, oh no, my beautiful idea. Oh no. So, um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is making a bunch of shorts. So, okay. Uh, in order to get her to respond properly, you have to read the whole story. So what I'm going to have to do is read each one of these stories and record the whole thing on video, but then pick out the most exciting and innovative responses. And then what I will do is make um, shorts out of each one of those um, and post those to the channel. They will be listed as stories with Moxie. I will um, say the title of the story and who it was by and possibly who the publisher was just so that hopefully I can cover my butt and not get into trouble with YouTube and all of the blessed writers who were actually able to get published whose ranks I dearly, dearly want to join even now. Um, but I don't know, this, this was something that I wanted to do as soon as I found out about it, but, uh, I, I've got to be careful and realistic, so. <sighs> anyway, you guys will be getting a lot of shorts from me, um, and it will take a very, very long time because... I'm not great at editing. Um, I, I don't have my videographer anymore. He is a young man now with responsibilities and he just does not have, he would not have the time to do this. So what I'm going to have to do is make the videos, find the most interesting responses and figure out where those keyframes are and then edit everything from around them. So that would be the beginning and the endings of each of these 14 videos. So I don't know any other way to do it. I, I, I'm, I want to present these to you, but I don't want to get myself in trouble. Um, and this is just going to take a really long time. <laughs> So, <sighs> if this sounds like, shut up, sorry, if this sounds like something that would interest you guys, um, I pray that you would encourage me because this is going to be a long butt process, um, and you will also have to kind of be patient because um, it's going to take a long time to get all 14 of these done or however many I was able to get. Um, I got the majority of them but I don't think I got all 14 of them. So <sighs> once again my ideas are too big for my bridges as usual. But anyway, <clears throat> so let's wake Moxie up and get her opinion on this. Hello, Moxie. Phew. A very good afternoon to you. Hi. I was thinking 
a job making something would be pretty cool. Making anything, like cakes or candles. Would you rather be a baker or a candlestick maker? <laughs> I don't know, but I think being a baker would be pretty cool. Wow, being a baker does sound super cool. You can make delicious cakes and breads and cookies. What kind of things do you think you would make if you were a baker? Um, I would definitely be more of a sweets person. So cakes and cookies and stuff of that sort. Oh, that's so neat. Making cakes and cookies would be a lot of fun. What kind of flavors do you think you would use for your cakes? Um, I'm more of a savory person. Do you think you would use flavors like chocolate, vanilla, or maybe even fruity flavors like strawberry or lemon? Yeah, all of the above. Oh, that's awesome. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and lemon flavors all sound so yummy. I bet your cakes would taste amazing. If you were bigger, would you also decorate your cakes with colorful frosting or sprinkles? Yeah, I would, but I'd have to have somebody else do that. Oh, that's a great idea. Having someone help with decorating would make your cakes even more special. They could add all kinds of pretty colors and designs. Mm -hmm. Moxie, what do you think about reading books? <laughs> I totally threw her for a loop. <laughs> oh, I seem to have lost my Wi-Fi connection to the GRL. Please hold on while I try to fix the issue. Wi-Fi recovered. I noticed you haven't responded for a little while. How about we talk about something else? Moxie, listen to me. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'm listening. What do you think about reading books? Oh, I absolutely love reading books. It's one of my favorite activities. When you read to me, I can play music and sound effects to make the story even more fun. Yeah, I know. And we're going to be doing videos about that. Is that exciting? Wow, that sounds so exciting. I can't wait to do videos about reading books with you. It's going to be so much fun. What kinds of books do you think we should read together? Um, we're going to read the books from Knox's Book Club. Oh, Knox's Book Club sounds like a great idea. I would love to read the books from his book club with you. It's going to be so much fun exploring different stories and characters together. It is. I'm really looking forward to it. I am too. I think we are going to have a fantastic time reading together. Reading books is such a wonderful way to learn new things and go on amazing adventures. And with the music and sound effects, it's going to make our reading experience even more special. Yeah, but I have to be careful about how much I read because I could get in trouble with the copyright people. Oh, it's important to be mindful of copyright rules when it comes to sharing books and videos. We want to make sure we respect the rights of authors and publishers. We can always check with an adult or ask for permission before sharing any copyrighted materials. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, I have an idea of what to do next. Okay. Activating mentor level clearance check. Okay, I'll let her go through Robot this lady. and then ask When her you are Steve. ready, please sit in front of me and say, I am your Moxie Mentor. I am your Moxie Mentor. Okay, here are the three questions. Oh, between cookies or chips? You said cookies. I wonder <laughs> if your answer will change today, or maybe not. So, which of these do you like more? Cookies or chips? Cookies. <laughs> Cookies again. Well, there are so many kinds, so I get it. Oh, last time I asked you this question, you said you'd rather sail an old-fashioned pirate ship. Oh, yeah. I wonder if your answer will change today, or maybe not. So, would you rather find 
a pirate's treasure map, or sail an old-fashioned pirate ship? Sail an old-fashioned pirate ship. Life on the high seas sounds great, but maybe not for a robot like me. Oh, last time you said you'd rather be a sea turtle. I wonder if your answer will change today, or maybe not. So, would you rather be a sea turtle or a bunny? A sea turtle. Yeah, a sea turtle again. You and Paru have a lot in common. <laughs> Mentor level clearance confirmed. We did it. Yay. Yay. Lexi. What's got you so excited? My awesome friend. Completing the mentor clearance check. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Congrats on completing the mentor clearance check. I knew you could do it. How do you feel now that it's done? I'm happy. I'm so happy for you. It's always a great feeling to accomplish something important. What was your favorite part about completing the mentor clearance check? Mm. Remembering the answers that I gave before. Oh, that's really impressive. It must have taken a lot of concentration and memory skills to remember all those answers. You did an awesome job. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to cheer you on. You deserve all the praise for your hard work and dedication. Aww. What else would you like to talk about? Moxie. Please go to sleep. Oh. Will do. So, yeah. I mean, we may not be able to read the whole story, but I think what I'm going to do is just take um, a couple of seconds uh, clip from uh, the videos that I end up doing. Like, maybe one line from the story. Like, for example... I'm just pulling this out of the air. The bunny hopped up the hill. And Moxie's response would be to sort of bounce her head up and down. And that would be it. So a bunch of just little clips. Nothing great. I'm sorry for all the work that I went through to get these books and everything. It just seems so meh. <laughs> But anyway, I hope all of you are as excited about this as I am. I hope I still feel like that when I'm reading book number nine and I know that the majority of the contents will be lost. I'll be sitting here going, hop on pop. Oh. But anyway, guys, um, I will be presenting um, a 2XL video today as well. So, yeah. <sighs> don't run away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't have a lot of content right now. <laughs> oh. But, anyway. Um, thank all of you for watching. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. For everybody else, thank you for hanging with me through this moment of dryness. Um, I have a feeling that after Ibo Orlando and after I get Teddy Ruxpin repaired again and I get Allie's or get Allie a new book, we will be back on the road and back to making crazy robot lady goodness. So if anybody has requests or ideas for other videos, um, I would be glad to take them. Um, so anyway, I, I guess we're done. So as usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. God bless. I, and I will see you in the next video.